hello there dear friends welcome to the channel and thank you for watching today we are going to say goodbye goodbye to a 25 years old chelsea loni mario pasalic yeah i nailed it this is the first time that i managed to pronounce pasalic i always like pronounce palasic palasic or whatever it was but i'm happy that i can correct myself and pronounce Pasalic. anyways guys uh, mario was on loan at atlanta and he's having a great season so chelsea and atlanta agreed on fee and it's going to be around 13.5 let's say 15 million uh pound and um uh, it's a good deal for me because he never played for chelsea football club he was shipped on loan here and there and until the age of 25 uh there is no place for him at uh, chelsea football club so you have to understand that it's not only a bad thing for chelsea to sign youngsters and send them on loan but it's also a business model chelsea get a lot of money sending those players on loan and i think we didn't lose any money from this player and um he's good enough for you know teams like um, atalanta and other teams just he wasn't that good for chelsea or the managers at the time didn't want to give him a chance because they wanted their own players so they can implement their systems so it's a little bit too late i think he missed out on his development so uh he found a coach that uh, trusts him and he's doing good so why not make um, atalanta his permanent home so good luck to mario uh it was nice buddy it was nice to call you a chelsea player if i can say that but now we got the money and we, we move so what next now we got the money 15 million is not uh, is not that much but that is going to add so, to our uh, transfer budget you know so i heard that us and the verkusen are different from the you know the valuation of kai harvard it was between 15 million difference so now that we have 15 million from mario can we now go and get kai harvard don't tell me that we don't have money i mean it's time for chelsea to start making some tough decisions here okay we have more than 27 players on loan okay last season we had uh 41 in total this year we kind of uh, cut it in half because it was too many of them and fifa are trying to you know limit uh how many players you can send on loan and all that so we did the right thing we sold a lot of them and we have the money now that we still have like 27 30 players on loan it's time for us to let some of them go I know it's um it's a business model like i said and i i understand that we need money we don't have a bigger a big stadium to to get us uh, money on on the match uh on the match day like arsenal or man united so you know those loans are helping us kind of getting some extra money and it's not a, a bad thing but i think we st we we still have a big academy we have a lot of kids coming out right now and those kids we can send them on loan and the one that was that that were on loan we can sell some of them you know so it's gonna be the same we're just recycling and now we're getting more quality in the team and also getting rid of some of them that we don't really need that is my idea but i don't know what marina is going to decide um and yeah man let me know what you think about mario have you ever watched him play and you know do you think that he, uh 
he didn't have any chance to make it at Chelsea Football Club. Do you think that uh, uh, he's not good enough for Chelsea Football Club or he was victim of the Chelsea loan army that ruined many uh, careers? My fear for this deal is that Marina goes for Robin Gossens instead of Tagliafico or Alex Telles. Because remember, we've been linked with Robin Gossens for a little while now. Uh, many reports been saying that uh, Marina would prefer to go for Gossens instead of other targets because he will be cheaper. You know what I'm trying to say? So I don't want this to be like, okay, let's create some good relationships with uh, Atalanta so we can get uh, some of their cheaper players. That is not going to work with me. This time we need to act like a big club. Go out there, spend the money. Okay, if it's 15 million difference, we are Chelsea Football Club. Let's go pay the money and get the player. Okay. Uh, according to many sources and other videos that I've been watching, they say that uh, Robin is more um, a wing back than, you know, a left back. But Chelsea need a proper left back. That's what we need at the moment. I want somebody who is more balanced, who can go forward, but who, who can also defend when needed somebody like ashley call well you won't find another ashley call for a little while those kind of players are very very rare to be on the market but tagliafico he can do the job okay he can do the job give him a chance and he's 27 he's on his prime at the moment so we have time to develop the young Matson from the academy to take over when um, when uh, Tagliafico is slowing down maybe three seasons from now let's say so so yeah that's my fear I see us doing something crazy you know after being linked with uh, pretty much everybody on the market and we could end up by losing all of them Tagliafico can go to PSG or Alex Telles can go to PSG or Barcelona or some other teams can have a bad injury and all of a sudden go on the market and get uh, and get the deal done for Tagliafico or Alex Telles. And I even heard that Chelsea still uh, thinking about signing Kurzawa for free from PSG. Please tell me this is not true. Tell me, please, that is not true. That guy doesn't deserve the blue shirt. Okay? I don't want to see him even for free. I would prefer to use a kid from the academy or just keep uh, Emerson in the team than go get somebody like Kuzawa for free. Because technically, Emerson still for free. Marcos Alonso still for free because they're already in the team. And free is not always free because you're gonna have to pay like the sign-on fees and all that so you you are going to spend money 15 million or 10 million agent fees or all that it's going to cost you something it's not free free so keep what we got because if you're gonna go for kuzawa he's not better than what we have already in the team so man if we want to make it to the next level we have to start paying quality and in the attack we are doing pretty good with Timo Werner, Hakim Ziyech and probably Kai Harvard or even Saeed Ben Rahman. We are all set in that department. Now it's time for us to find a great left back and also a centre back to command that defence and we will be all set. Let me know what you think about everything I've spoken in this video. God bless you. Think outside the box and see you in the next one.